So welcome to my video. This is going to show you how to make a binary adder. First of all, we're going to start off with a device called a half adder. And what you can see is I'm putting on two switches and two lights. The first switch is going to be the number, the digit of the first number, so one or zero. The second switch is going to be the digit of the second number, one or zero. Now, if you recall binary addition, there's some other videos on that. We add those up and we get both a sum, so the thing we put underneath, and a carry. The carry is what we carry over to the next column. So, we need to put some logic gates in here and wire these up. If we look at A and B, if A is 1 and B is 1, then the carry should also be 1, because 1 plus 1 in binary is one zero, so the carry is one. We're now going to use a different gate for the sum. So we're going to use a gate called the XOR gate, it's this one here, and what you'll see is that it's only on this gate when one of the inputs is on. So if they're both off, it's off. If they're both on, it's off. So if I turn one on like that, that's fine. Turn both on and you can see that the sum and the carry are working properly. So what we do, one plus zero is one, one plus zero is one, one plus one is one zero. So this is our little half adder and I'm gonna make that into a component. There's a button just up there, you can see it. And I type half adder. So this sort of puts my component in a package. So now I can take what I've done so far and just delete it. I drag my half adder on. Oh, this can be a bit tricky sometimes. You need to grab it sort of by nearby one of the pins. There we are. So I put one up there. And oh, come on, come on. That's it. So two half adders get make, guess what? Yes. A whole adder. So you remember when we're adding up binary digits, we not only have the two numbers, but we might also have a carry to add on as well. So that's our last binary rule. So this is how we're going to wire it up. We're going to use the two half adders. So let's wire that up there and like that. And then we're going to wire in the carry to the other half adder. And we're going to take the sum of the first half adder and stick it into the second half adder. Now we're going to need an OR gate as well. So two half adders and an OR gate can make a full adder. And I'm going to wire this up to take the carry from both of the half adders and put it into the OR gate. The sum of the last half adder goes up there and the result of the OR gate goes into here. So this implements all the rules of binary addition. So if we have a look, let's see. If we just have one, the result is one. Put two on, the result is one zero. Put just one on, result is one. If you make this circuit, you can satisfy yourself that this is exactly the case. I'm just going to sort out this half adder here. Lovely and you can see that it all works. I'm going to name these now. So we've got A for number A, B for number B, and yeah, that's it. I for the carry in, and then sum, and then C for the carry out. Oh, sorry, out for the carry out, why not? So I'm going to package this, and now we've got our full adder. I rename it down the bottom. Again, I can delete all of this, and then I can drag our full adder on. Oh, there we are. So that is our full adder.